everyone in today's session we are going to learn how to implement bootstrap inside your html project so before starting that there is a website getbootstrap.com getbootstrap.com which is an official website from the bootstrap you supposed to open this particular website by opening this website you will find a download button here you click on that button and you will find there are two techniques by which you can do so right first is using the compiled css and javascript you download from uh, the bootstrap website and you implement those particular files or include those particular files inside your project the first technique second technique is using cdns as you know cdns are content delivery networks using those you can you need not to download those files and implement inside your project you can straight away use the online versions of those files it is called a content delivery network so we can use by cdns as well or by downloading those compiled file directly into into your folder and you can use those files so we are going to see how we can first download those files and implement and then we are going to see how we can use without downloading also like you need not to download or uh, put those files inside your project you can directly use with the help of cdn but first we are going to download this particular files compile css and js files it will be downloaded and when you click uh, open the zip file there will be two folders inside it css and js right you need to copy those folders inside your project directory so i am going to copy these files i am going to copy these files and i am going to paste those folders inside my project directory right to uh, like more uh, proper way of writing a code is to organize your files right so to better organize your folders you better create one folder assets generally all the developers do so so we are going to create assets folder and move our uh, both folders inside the assets so what we are doing with the help of this is whatever frameworks we are going to use or whatever the assets we are going to use inside our uh, website we are going to put in this particular folder so our project will be organized in a better way you need not to do so you can directly use those ht uh, css and js folder directly straight away but it would be better if you put those folders inside assets folder right then you open this particular folder where you have put your assets css and js inside a sublime or any editor here i am going to create one html file named index.html you can specify any name to it i am going to specify index.html here i am going to write simple html basic starter right html head body and slash html now what you supposed to do is you need to include those folders not all the folders files from those folders inside your html right the first file you are going to uh, like include is our main.css bootstrap.main.css bootstrap.main.css so as you know we have learned uh, how to include external css files inside your html in our css sessions you know we can use link uh, uh, element and we can provide the href to our css so here my index file is here first i need to go to assets so i'll write assets then i need to go in a css folder so i'll write css and then my file bootstrap.main.css so this is how i can include my css inside html similarly i need to include js also so from this particular folder currently i need only one file that is bootstrap.main.css i also need to include js file so i i need to like uh, use external javascript uh, using the script tag itself script tag itself script and i'll provide a src to that and my src would be assets slash js slash bootstrap dot mean dot js mean is a minified version of those files you will find the same file like bootstrap dot js similarly bootstrap dot css right you can find those files let's see what what is the difference between mean and the actual file here you can see we have bootstrap.main.css of 158 kb 
156 KB sorry and same file bootstrap.css is 193 KB so straight away we are saving 40 KBs right they are minified version of the same file both are same uh, whatever you include the function will be same but it would be a minified so you will save certain KBs right so that's why we are using minified versions of the same file so better to use minified version we are not going to change those files that's why we are using minified version but make sure this is not the it we need to include certain more things when you want to use bootstrap for so first of all we have included this then we need to include two more things make here they have provided certain uh, like uh, uh, other features which bootstrap itself using first is a they are using jquery they are using jquery in order to uh, bootstrap work we need jquery as well as a popper popper js also is required in order to run bootstrap so we are going to copy these two cdns you can also use the minified version or the local files of uh, jquery as well as popper js but as of now we are going to use cdns of them and cdn of uh, popper and jquery must be placed before our bootstrap make sure you include sorry make sure you include the jquery and popper js before your bootstrap so this is how we are going to uh, start with the bootstrap so the, uh, our setup is almost done first thing you need to do is you need to download this uh, zip file from the website getbootstrap.com then you need to put those fold, uh, folders inside your project then you need to include those particular css and js but before import uh, before like using external C, uh, js of the bootstrap you need to also include jquery as well as popper js ready so you will find those particular code inside your uh, getbootstrap.com website you can use cdns or if you want your website to work offline it, they, they are using the online versions of jquery if you want to use jquery uh, uh, offline then you can simply use copy this particular src you can copy this particular src and paste that src in a browser you will find certain codes you can right click here and save this particular file and save this file inside your project assets js folder and then you can directly use those files but if you have internet you should use cdns better to use cdns right so this is how we are going to uh, basically start our page html page all the html page that uses a bootstrap needs to include a bootstrap.min.js jquery popper and bootstrap.min.js file so now we have our uh, like uh, bootstrap ready to go and we'll check whether it is working or not so i'm going to write one tag h1 hello world right and I'm also uh, in order to compare those files. I'm going to create another file named second.html. Sorry, and I'm going to simply write h1 hello world. Same, I'm going to write a same h tag here also, and we'll see the difference between these files. Let's open this file in a browser, and we are going to open this particular file in a browser. You can see there is a difference slight difference of the typography right this is with the bootstrap and this is without the bootstrap so you can compare and check whether your bootstrap is working perfectly or not with the help of simple trick like you will create a file without the bootstrap and you will create a file with the bootstrap and you will find the difference using that you can check whether it is working properly or not okay and if you want to still check a perfect way whether it is working or not you can create a simple button input type equal to button and provide a class btn btn dash danger and we'll check this particular file whether it is working or not it should come red you can see the red button here let's specify the value to it click here okay and same code we are going to write without the bootstrap here is with bootstrap and here is without bootstrap let's see the difference here 
with the bootstrap you i'm zooming the uh, this particular file you can see the red button and if i refresh here you see the basic html button so this is the bootstrap button and this is the basic button so this is how you can include a uh, bootstrap inside your project with the help of compile css and js if you don't want to download and use those file inside your project you can simply use a cdns old cdns right here we already have used cdns for jquery and popper but we can down, uh, we can use these links directly from the bootstrap cdn to work like for example i'm copying this and i'm replacing this particular link which was local to our project i'm replacing with the cdn similarly i am replacing this js cdn bootstrap js cdn with our local uh, include here and i am going to delete those files from my project i am going to delete assets folder straight away right still if i refresh my page it will work it will work i need not to download those files i can use simply the cdns uh, but in order to work the, from the CDN, you need a working internet. If you don't have internet, you have to download this with the help of compiled CSS and chess. In the next lecture, we are going to like uh, more explore more about the uh, structure of these uh, downloads and how we can use it more effectively. Thank you.